is RS Radio, the RS Experience. Y'all should all get lynched. Solid hip hop records. I would say something. Cause I'm like Rock Kim, KRS One, Nas. Um, these are some songs with substance. A lot of the records of today lack substance in what they're saying. It's just booty shaking music. So a lot of people will consider that rap. No substance to it. It's like, you know, don't stop getting get shot that because you do the rap. That's old. Okay, so I'm just, you know, I'm trying to scrap. I'm a both fan. I like, I'm a fan of good music. Bro, I'm teaming. Why is everybody always picking on me? They call me the same thing. That's my name. That's me again. Got to be the same. But I got everybody rapping to me. What? What are you talking? Absolutely no substance to that. Okay. But then we consider that that was. So it's always it's because you over romanticize your time period. Your time period was the best thing ever, and the reason why it was because it was your you. It's a revolution. It's full circle. This right now, and and the process is happening faster than it actually happened when it first happened. Okay. You're seeing the elevation go from you know you went from the soldier boys to pure nonsense, and then the next thing you know now they got the kind of the little Wayne's kind of rhyme say anything. Yeah. But it's it's ear candy. Yes, that's it. It's and now you got a bunch of younger kids that starting to rhyme and they starting to say a little something. They say, they starting to kind of elevate their skill set. So you gotta just like yeah, we gotta be patient. But then you get like you know we got. I'm just saying this far for real. And that's the parent that you know we gonna make a mistake as hip hoppers if we turn our nose up to these young kids. We can't do that. B. Definitely, we like we like fathers that ain't raised their children and they got the nerve to be mad at the children they turn out to be incredible. I'm doing the filming right now. I gotta say, man. So don't get that say you the guy who's doing the filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here. Shout to Killer Mike, Ludacris, you know what I'm saying? And all that. This is what I believe. You gotta cast that eight. Like, there's more patterns are more simple than, like, how Cap was rapping in 78. Like, you know, he's just more like Grandmaster Jazz. You know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's progressed. He, he, he's updated himself many times since then. Nipsey Russell, do the hustle. Yo, car diesel, flex your muscle. Yo, he's on the way with Zip. He's on the way with Zip. One of the greatest dudes. Nice, nice. Talk pure right, right. nonsense. It's simple. You know, let's make a delineation between rap, hip hop, and corporate influenced product. Okay. Now, if you want to talk about the corporate product, the corporate product sucks. Point blank. We don't even have to have a debate about that. I don't think anybody's going to debate that what the corporations have done because corporations sell on off of basic principles. Yeah. And those basic principles are not applicable to art. Art is organic. Art is, is alive. And if you try to sell, if you sell something because you put a snazzy package on it, it's not good. You think the greatest singers ever, right? You didn't see their faces back in the day because there wasn't all that many games. You couldn't get them but so many on them TV. Yeah. And then you did see them. You'd be like, ooh, look at, oh, wait a minute. She wasn't, she wasn't such a looker. Yeah. Well, she could sing. You'd be like, oh, did them singing where she hit that first note and something go through your spine. You'd be like, oh, now you got these women that look incredible. These Beyonce, I say these well, Beyonce, Rihanna, uh, yeah, 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 well, you know, but um, you know, it is a matter of opinion. But you get these ones out here now that's gorgeous. They look like uh, you use so much something like Jessica Rabbit, like you draw them, but they can't hold the tune. They they certainly can't hold no not a candle to the ones back in the day. So what happens is when you start selling stuff from the corporate angle, which is pretty young, stupid, bad boy, these are easy things to sell. They can't exactly. sell talent so well though. You dig? Yeah. Talent's hard to sell because you know we are as Americans are shallow and it's just the truth. You know what I mean? Just like with Haiti, everybody's rushing to do a Haiti thing because they know in a month from now ain't nobody gonna
you talking about Haiti, which is gonna take ten years to rebuild. Mm -hmm. And just the same way we talking about all corporate this, and they gonna edit, they don't, they, they'll edify these fools, but they won't put anything up that's that's worthy of the people. But the problem is again, it goes back to what I said before: the people must prove to the people. Why is it, yo? Listen, you hear my music, like yo, the song sound high, did it, right? But yo, is it my fault that ain't nobody buying them joints? They hot. Is it my fault that the fans, that's all these fans that love y'all, should all get lynched? All y'all, and why all you that do? Is it my fault that, uh, or is it the record label's fault that y'all ain't buying it? Is it the record label's fault that the DJs that talk about they love hip hop all this and the they not paying, they not playing it because they don't got enough integrity to play music that's worth playing? That's not nobody's fault, but the fans, the DJs, the people that participate in this culture are not doing their diligence. So we can't keep blaming corporations because they're easy to blame. Take ownership yourself. That's why I'm saying. Saying, take it. That's why I did y'all should all get lynched. Take back your ownership. Take accountability for what you do and then fix it. Let me show y'all the difference between niggas and blacks. Black men is in action. Niggas is all act. Niggas talk out they ass. Niggas know no fact. Black men respond intelligently. Niggas react. No tactic, no tact. While black men struggle to overcome, niggas is fall back. Black men got names like father, like husband. His wife trust him. They go father, she love him. Niggas is down for whatever, they only wanna have fun. Got some chick pregnant, nigga cut and run. Black man love his family, black man raised his son. Black man love his daughter, he raised a strong one. See, a nigga screw his daughter, why? Cause he ain't know. See, the nigga never met her, so to him she just some hoe. Black man in the community out there coaching these kids. Niggas in the penile locked in the pen with them pigs. Mm. Niggas kill their own people. Yeah, that nigga did. Shot him in broad daylight in that nigga head. See, black man run from nothing, especially no cops. Look, my paperwork is good. Let that bullshit stop. Niggas smoke weed in the car with the package in it. Get pissed, start singing about everybody business. Niggas got jokes all the time. Y'all stay acting funny. Niggas sell out cheap. Y'all do anything for money. Nigga politicians, how do we know when we get them? Instead of Barack Obama, Hillary Bottom Clinton. A black man see no limitation. So he strove to be the president and won over the nation. He figured with God on his side, nothing's impossible. He formed with a black woman and became unstoppable. See, niggas is powerless. Y'all think y'all both don't count. Not realizing if you tried, you would remove all doubt. A black man loved his song, but in truth it make him sad. Niggas hate these lyrics. Right now, y'all niggas is mad. Black man love the truth. Niggas love excuses. Black man knows his uses. Niggas is plain useless. My name is NY Oil, and I approve that message. Hold that. Y'all right. should all get lynched. This the best y'all can come up with? Wait, shit. Self-serving, you're not serving, it's not working Leave them hurting, them blood vessels first And the first, the line was cursing What the fuck just happened? Got your hairline split and we was only rapping